writing a materials list. This will definitely come before the method and usually straight after, say, the risk assessment. The materials list, again, needs to be very precise and specific. It needs to indicate all equipment, their exact name, if it's necessary, uh, what they're made of. if it's necessary to know that. So for example, if you're using a uh, glass beaker or a plastic beaker, those two things, even though they do the same job, you need to use a glass beaker in certain circumstances versus a plastic beaker. You might need to uh, have a measuring device um, that is a, let's say, a thermometer, it might just be a thermometer that is um, goes above 150 degrees, which is called a thermocouple. So we need to know somehow what that thing is actually made of possibly. So just indicate that. When we say the exact name, um, you might need to ask. It might be written on the label. Um, you might need to go and search for it um, to explain exactly what uh, the, the scientific name of that is. Um, you also definitely need to say uh, how many items of each. So it might be 20 glass beakers, uh, five test tubes, how many of each. And also how big. that might be necessary. So if you're using, if you say measuring cylinder, well, you could say glass measuring cylinder, but there's lots of glass measuring cylinders, so it might be 50 milliliter glass measuring cylinder times, how many, times by 12. So a 50 mil glass measuring cylinder and 12 of them, then that gives that very precise, specific um, item that you're using. So that if I wanted to just go and treat this like a shopping list and go out and buy exactly everything because that's what I want for uh, to repeat your experiment, I can go out and find that precisely. I can get it exactly. Now it might even come down to, and some people are using very precise measuring devices, it might be, for example, if you're using a laser uh, thermometer, um, those point and shoot ones, point and click ones, um, it might, you might need uh, the manufacturer of it as well. Because the manufacturer, it might be, there might be a lot out there but yours is a very specific one that you've bought and you know where it's from or it's got a label or a name on it of that, um, uh, of that company, uh, tell us the manufacturer, tell us the company name so that we know uh, that it's from, for example, uh, Serata. You don't have to do this for everything, but some really interesting measuring devices, etc., uh, might need you to put the manufacturer in. For example, our uh, spectrophotometer, uh, just a device we have over there, we uh, obtained that from uh, Southern Biological. Uh, so it is the Southern Biological um, spectrophotometer um, and we'll give it the uh, certain specific type of spectrophotometer that we, that we have, which is a, a UV and visible light spectrophotometer um, going from 300 nanometers to 900 nanometers. Um, so can you see how we, we have to sometimes indicate the man manufacturer as well? Your materials list uh, is, again, just a list and will hopefully um, be under, say, 20 items. But be careful to include all the items that you use.